What's up, everybody? Welcome to Griffin, Georgia. Behind the wheel is Katie. Catherine the Great. She's excited to be driving through the city. No, I'm not. What's wrong with that? What do you mean you're not excited? You're supposed to I be I don't excited. like driving. It's too bad you're driving. Mm -mm. I'm on vacation right now. <laughs> Katie's driving. We got Katie on the wheel. How come this phone felt so wobbly when I touched it? There we go. So we're in Griffin. The city is just to the south of Atlanta. And uh, the drive here was pretty nice. What do you think about the drive from the town? It was nice. It wasn't bad at all. Seems like it's got a lot of commerce, a lot of things going on here. And I've been trying to buy and find the best mounts for our phones and cameras and devices. And I still haven't found the right one. We paid $70 for this suction cup thing. And I'm not really pleased with it. There has to be something better out there. Bojangles, we still haven't tried them. At least this one doesn't fly, make the doesn't fly out. thing yeah. fly out at you. True that. So I'm going to get you guys some information on Griffin. Griffin, Georgia. Griffin is uh, in Spalding County. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Spalding. 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 We're almost to the town center. And uh, it's got a really big uh, downtown district. Really big downtown district. It kind of looks hood around here. Yeah, this is hood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. It looks kind of hood around here. Yeah, your buddy. Looks kind of hood. Mm -hmm. The business centers, they have all... Every time I like, you see a business center, and they have so many signs around them, it's usually hood. I mean, you see those, like businesses, like all them signs and stuff. Well, to give you guys a general feel for this town, when you get to the main intersection up ahead, you're going to make a left hand turn. It's right hand turn since you're already on your right. See that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going to get us hurt, mate. Not this light, but the next one after it. Okay. Actually, you can go past it and then turn on 8th Street. You're going to pass Hill. As soon as you pass Hill, it'll be 6th Street. Take a turn there. Let me get up some information here on Griffin. Griffin is, why is this uh, in Chinese? Okay, 26, 23,000 people. Right. 23,000 people. Founded in 1840. The population's actually declined between 2010 and now. That's horrible. I don't see that too often. So the population hasn't been growing too fast, even though this is a fast growing area. Uh, take a right hand turn here when you get a chance. Take a right. This Hill Street looks interesting. See the little businesses down there? The grass is so green and pretty. Or you can keep going wherever you want. You can freestyle. But basically, this is the main strip like this. See this tree here? That's the main strip. So as long as you uh, stay on that near that, you can go off this black car. There you go. That's the main strip right there. Not bad at all. It's interesting how the population hasn't grown that much. Sebulon? Is that a Bible name? Sebulon? Yeah. Huh. I know I'm pronouncing that one right. <laughs> Zebulon. Well, the population here is 50% uh, African American and 47% white, leaving very few other. So it's 50 50 here. 50-50. Griffin, Georgia. Not that impressed. Nothing too fancy. When you get a chance, take a right hand, take a left up ahead. And then you can swing back around. I'll tell you how far back. Let's see here. Yeah, keep going down. Yeah, keep going down all the way to Melbourne. 
blocks ahead. Very nice houses, huh? We're gonna make a left-hand turn on the next, not this block, but the next one. On the next block, maybe take a left-hand turn. Next left, take it. Right there, take that left. Oh, these houses are big and pretty. You see how big they are? Would it make you happy if I drove? Yes. Okay. Pull up to the side of the road here where there's nobody. And then we'll quickly let me do the driving. Yes. We'll keep the video running. Yeah. All right. We're going to stop the quick because we're on video. I just don't like driving through jail. She does not like... <laughs> She does not like to drive while recording. And I guess it's an art that I've perfected, you know, knowing what businesses to turn into. The girl's blind, she's got no idea. You know how this gets stuck though? Oh, that's horrible. You know the electric seat thing on this thing gets stuck? Yep. Oh, uh, it's not moving at all? Yep. That's horrible. Does it, it'll work later, it's just, there it goes. <laughs> When I put the car in drive, it decides that I think if there's garbage inside of it or it's like a little plastic piece, we gotta look into that. So I'll be doing the driving. Ooh, Cape Cods. Really pretty ones, too. So it's an art that I've perfected, knowing what streets to turn down, knowing what business centers to pull into. It's really an art that I've perfected of knowing. Okay, it doesn't have a, the reflexes to know which street to turn down. Her hood radar isn't. It'll be more fun if I'm driving. It's an art that I perfected. It's always more fun when you drive. Yeah, but no, it's not that. It's just knowing what, uh, knowing what streets to turn on to. Oh, wait, that's just, just have more fun for me. I have a hood radar. I know, I, I have it. It's like built into my head. I know what streets to turn down. I know when to slow down, when to speed up. Like, it's just, I'm a natural born tour guide. This neighborhood's pretty right here. I love these front porches. Oh, love it. Statistically, the city ain't much. <clears throat> what are their incomes? I love these front porches, though. It reminds me of Atlanta. Without the metal bars and windows. You've got it up here? In Griffin, Georgia. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The that. median income for this household income is 30000 and for a family, it's 33. That's horrendous. Per capita income for the city is 15,000. Yikes, yeah, it's bad. You can tell when you drove in, you can tell it was kind of hood. And 21% <laughs> of the population is below the poverty line. That's horrible. That's not really good statistics for a city. No. Well, even in Elmore County, where we live, the whole county of Elmore is 10% below the poverty line. So this is more, twice as many poor people as we live. <clears throat> Do you know that Elmore County has a smaller percentage of the population living below the poverty line mm -hmm. than Collier County where we live in Naples? Yeah. Ain't that something? I hear weird noise. It's just a loud city. Oh, it's that air conditioning vent that's close. Open these air vents so it doesn't make that noise. There you go. So I'm gonna guess there's a hood here. City that big, that much. There has to be like a real hood. See, there's a lot of cars. And that's the one thing. Like you're gonna in a place that's poor, but you still get all the big city traffic and dump trucks everywhere and all that. Like if you're gonna, right or wrong? If you're gonna live in a place that's poor, then you still got big city traffic. You live in a place that's poor, you might as well live out in the woods where you can do whatever crap you want or something. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and say you did a horrible place in sourcing this town for us. <laughs> oh, if you live in Griffin, please subscribe to our channel. I would love to have you on board. We want you to join us. So if you're from Griffin, please subscribe to our channel. You're here for a reason if you're a local. You already found us somehow. This is what an outsider thinks about your town, basically. 
<laughs> Some towns, they take it very lightly, and other towns, they don't like us. Here's a guy from Colorado. Maybe there are people moving out here. I don't know. The statistics didn't seem... To, I can't stand this light. I've had it with this light. The statistics don't seem... I don't look at... I look at population. When I when I look at towns, I just look at the population. Well, true that. And that's what people are looking for. And yeah, that's right size town for our videos. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But as far as like what's going on here, it seems bland. Mm -hmm. it seems bland. It seems very bland. To me, it seems quite bland. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot going on. That's the one way. Do that. <laughs> Seems bland. The incomes are really low. And that's usually good if the place looks trashy because then people want to watch it and see how trashy it is. But it doesn't look that trashy. It doesn't look trashy at all. It's just a poor, bland city. It's not. So anyway, maybe there are some hoods somewhere. Look at the southwest side of the city. The maps had a lot of apartments and stuff. Maybe that's a hood. I'm not sure. Let's get on the main street and see what the action looks like on main street. <coughs> this looks harder here, yeah, not bad. Light like me and dub it, dub it, baby. I know what you want, I know what you need. I need the phone for a cover phone opportunity. Let this person go. Okay, you're good to go. Good to go. Yeah, yeah. Quítate del medio, acere. Hey, there's a Cuban restaurant 40 minutes from here. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes north from here, there's a Cuban restaurant. Very well rated. Mm -hmm. And it looks good. Let me put the window on so they can hear the same like. It doesn't look like a dead town. It's, it's got activity. I think the radio in Georgia is way better than the radio in Alabama. The radio in Alabama is garbage. White kids listening to rap loudly. Sounds like a Migos song. Train tracks. Don't make a song about anything. You know the Migos make a song about anything? Like literally? I don't know who that is. Migos. They sing that Taco Tuesday song? Yeah, Taco oh, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. They'll make a song about anything. And it'll be like the catchiest song. They'll, like, they'll make anything sound cool. Like train tracks. Man, we hopping over them train tracks. Train tracks. Catch me in the habit of like a train tracks. Like know. that Haitian song we heard? Haitians? No, that's T Pain. No, where like it sounds like they're just driving through a town naming things. <clears throat> that's not catchy, that's just Haitian music is like no other music you're gonna listen to. That's the compa Haitian music. First of all, they has no lyrical content at all. There is no lyrical content. It's just the beat is so catchy that the lyrics and the lyrics are very vague. Mm -hmm. Very vague lyrics. I mean, yeah. usually, this is kind of hood out here. I know a hood when I see one. I think we're getting close. Oh, yeah. Just because it's a junk truck? Man, those mattresses are nasty. Ooh, they're like yellow. I wouldn't even want to burn that thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Somebody call me the whole way that mattress. I'd be like, Nope. I always like black girls' hair. Like braided. It looks so cool. Shiny. No. I've been trying to get you to convince you to get your hair braided. <laughs> your hair's not long enough to get it braided. You can get some weaves. <laughs> Stop trying to give me a weave at all. No. You won't do it? Was rubber dry at least. 
Hey, if you want to pay for the weave, go right ahead. I like looking at black girl's hair. <laughs> you, you realize it's going to look like white girl. Like You would have to let your yeah. hair grow a lot <laughs> before you can braid it. <laughs> yeah, pretty hair. Shiny color. Everybody's still on the front porch though, that's what's up. Everybody's family here though. <laughs> There's a white guy hanging out with black people. Oh yeah, this is really cool. You know what I'm saying? Something smells it's, really good. They're probably barbecuing, you see? I like it, I like it though. You see the old white guy hanging out with, hanging out on the far porch with the black people? It smells like a really good steak. <clears throat> I like that. It seems like the city might be really well integrated. That's like the most hood looking white guy I've ever seen. <laughs> he looks like your dad. Very hood white guy. I love it. Very cool. What's up, buddy? I love all the front porch crap they have on their front porches. I gotta get a picture of one of these houses for the cover. It might be a good cover photo. Man, I love it. Dude, that guy looks like your dad. Do you see him? He reminded me of your dad. He's yeah. like big, it's just like your dad. He's on the front porch hanging out in the hood. I love it. Sweet deal. Oh, I see that the, what we gotta look out for is the roof line on the houses. If they all parallel, then it might be kind of hood. Like if the roofs all line up like that, it's kind of hood. I like it. I love it actually. It's like West Virginia, Appalachia type crap here. I love it. Not what I expected. That guy was confused by us saying what's up to him. He was like, uh, okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm just gonna say that was cool to see a white guy hanging out on the front porch in the hood like that. Like, very cool. Very, very interesting. I don't think the high, it doesn't look like it's high crime rate. It's all like families and like normal. You know when you go to a neighborhood and like you can see bad environment? Like this is this has an, a hood feel, but it's not like in a bad way. It's like a very like family, it feels like a very kind of like family oriented hood. Not all hoods have that. Georgia's family. You remember when we went to Carroll, Georgia with my friend that used to live? Like way in the back, you know, they were just like this, remember? Yeah. And we kind of hung out with him um, over there in Cairo. Yeah. Where all the kids were playing outside. Is that a Maserati? And by the way, that's the second Maserati that I see today in this town. They're close to Atlanta, so. Yeah. Oh, man, you got 20 foot. Come here. <laughs> I love all the front porches and everybody hanging out on the front porch. Just about everybody's, every like uh, street has somebody hanging out on the front porch. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, Georgia's a family place. Like you know, like among a lot of people that we meet in in um in Alabama, okay. they got family here in Georgia. Yes. You know? Look at that house right there, big front porch. Okay. Love it. You know that house reminds me of. Mm -hmm. You know, watch that movie, Medea. Oh, yeah. Like, I had a, the house in Medea movie, they have a big front porch, mm -hmm. just like that. That's a big house. I love how the porch swings all around. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I love the front porches. Huh. Yeah, and there's a lot of older people hanging out, too. Like, you can tell, like, there's family vibes, you know what I mean? Like, it's mm -hmm. not just, like, hood. It's, like, family. Family vibes, like it. Mm -hmm. The house has metal bars on the windows. So. I like it. Yeah, she's she, like she's talking to the lady across from across the street. Very neighborhood feel. You know what I mean? Like, I get, if I was like a Puerto Rican from New York, I would love living here. Look at the grocery store. Sometimes grocery we accept food stamps. I gotta pull up to that. Hold on. If I was like a New York Puerto Rican or from like Philly or something, I would like the city. 
because it's got that neighbor, real like strong neighborhood. Look at this little grocery store. So good, love it. Yeah, buddy, we sell food stamps. Love it. This is kind of what I would imagine like Philadelphia or, or like, you know what I mean? Like the Bronx or something, like, you know, very neighborhood feel. Big city neighborhood feel, that place. I love the caprice on the side of that house right there. I like this place. It's very like southern. Oh yeah. I like it. Definitely South Atlanta vibes. I'm sure there's a better part of town, but I like this. Well, the drive up here was pretty, like to the countryside. Mm -hmm. The rural drive here was nice. There aren't enough palm trees here. You'd think they'd have more palm trees, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think they'd have more palm trees? I got a stupid song. I don't even like this. You know what I hate about the radio? It's getting so stuck in your head that you don't even like. I don't think this guy was like on an American around when they wrote that song. Like, I can... <laughs> just spin around in circles. So tell me about the flow. Well, I was on a merry-go-round. Who sings that song? Oh, Migos. Look up song titles for the group Migos. Dude, I love how they have crap on their front porch. How many of these front porches are like filled to the brim of like old furniture? Like the type of stuff you find by the side of the curb. Migos, song titles. Just a list of their song titles. Bad and bougie? Yeah. Walk it, talk it. Walk it like you talk it. Walk it like you talk it. Slippery. Slippery. Motorsport. Okay. Adios. A what? Adios? Adios. 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 Man, we got them. Adios. Man, Spanish. T-shirt. Yeah, like they make like the most random, like their songs could be able, you know, whatever the song it is will be so catchy. Like if you heard it, it would get, even if you didn't like it, it would just get stuck in your head. And they just make catchy songs. We're heading north now. The white people in this town look at more hood than the black people. Like the black people just like will seem like really like like hometown people. You know, the white people I've seen are like covered in tattoos and holding like a bear bottle or something. left town i think we just left town Ex experiment unincorporated that sounds scary i'm not even gonna drive this <laughs> like when it's an experiment uh, i'm scared driving in this place yeah it's an unincorporated experiment i should take a picture with that and post it on the lehigh acres group mm -hmm. like at least this place is unincorporated <laughs> that's all it is Okay, let me just drive back into this town. Right? Can I see the map real quick? Sure. Let me figure this out. Exper that is the most hilarious uh, experiment. Oh, there's more city that way. Oh, no, there really is a town called Experiment. Yeah, there really is. Wow, that car's flying. I'm going to drive back into Griffin. I, that's a weird name for a town. Experiment Unincorporated. It's Purple not Hearts. incorporated to go say. Yeah, but it's called experiment. Mm -hmm. Like, what is this? Is, that sounds like a, a, a un, that's like middle America right there. Let's just, this is an experiment. Let's just, let's just see what happens here. Let's just drop off some beer, some squatted Yukons, and just walk away and see what happens. Why is this so stuck in my head? 
You can't listen to radio. I swear they purposely find songs that are catchy. Like, who cares if it's lyrical, makes the artist sucks, it doesn't matter. Just come up with something. Piggly wiggly wiggly. <laughs> piggly wiggly wiggly wiggly. Piggly wiggly wiggly wiggly. Piggly wiggly wiggly wiggly. Yeah, that would, that would be on the radio for ears on it, man. That would be on the radio for ears. That would be like top 100 billboard. You know what I mean? Coca Cola would call us. Can you make a Coca Cola song for us? <laughs> Piggly, we'll give you an ear supply. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want that stuff in my body. <laughs> Piggly, wiggly, wiggly. No loquat trees. I would have expected loquats, my own. We gotta write Piggly, wiggly song, make a video. This house looks like a crap house. And we have to also. See if you buy houses. Okay. Yeah. Copyright it. Copyright it. Do the pig, wiggly, wiggly song. See what it makes. Put T Glizzy on T Grizzly on the remix just because it matches his name. Yeah. Nah, he'd be too aggressive for a Piggly Wiggly song. Nah, he'd be okay. He'd be like dressed up as a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> He's that aggressive. He would just be like dressed up as a butcher. Yeah. I cut you open like a butcher in a butcher shop. play with pigs <laughs> he is that aggressive isn't he aggressive uh, that's, he, uh, he's not mainstream is he i don't think he is he's too aggressive to be he's like, he'll be like wearing like on a piggly wiggly remix he would be wearing like a he'd be wearing like a like a butcher's outfit Say, we little, got the best meat uh, <laughs> we got the best meat at the piggly wiggly for you I don't play with pigs. I'm a butcher. I don't play with pigs. <laughs> Super aggressive. Super aggressive. Well, there it is. Um, I'm probably, if you're looking to relocate, this may not be a place for you. Your mask. Oh, look at that box Chevy. If you're looking to relocate, I, I, I probably say this is probably not a place for you. Um, unless. A little mask fell, so now we're gonna be bouncing around a lot more than we were before. Unless I jam this up, there. let me give you a second, y'all. Give me a second, y'all. We're working with uh, we're working with a demo version of Fruit of the Studios right now. Oh, they're building a house right here. Okay, new houses. Well, that's good. Let's check it out. Put okay. DJ Khaled on it. What? Picking a song. We the best. We the best. <laughs> And he does. Didn't, no, it was Fat Joe who did a direct insurance commercial. Yeah. Wow. That's how you know your career's done right there. When you do a direct insurance commercial. Uh, I don't like I this. I think Drake's doing state farm. This reminds me of the same suburbs in Atlanta where I didn't like. I don't like this at all. Okay, so this, this would work for somebody. This city would work if you're relocating from like... I don't know if it's affordable. That's the other thing. It could be expensive. It could be one of those places where, what's a house worth here? Oh, look, look, look up real quick. What's it worth? What's it worth out here? It's good that they're building houses, but isn't their population declining? That makes no sense. Your population's declining, but you're building houses. I'm, I have a feeling this is like a, the Lehigh version of. This is like the Lehigh of Atlanta. That's what I'm thinking. This is from what I can kind of grasp. The Lehigh of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. This is like the Lehigh Acres of Atlanta right here, guys. Not much to see here. This will be some queuing for them starting. Why will it not load? What? My location. It won't let me pull it up. What things cost out here? The internet's been horrible on your phone. Uh -huh. There's something wrong with your phone settings. And it's your phone because mine's just been doing all right. I'll just drive north and hopefully we can. Hmm. Well, I, I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably a good place to relocate. If you're coming from like Philadelphia or the Bronx or a big city in the Northeast and you still want to have that neighborhood feel might work for you if you're trying to relocate but the average person relocating um 
it's probably going to want something fancier. So thank you so much for watching our video. We're out.